Tales from the Flipside family. Welcome back to another episode of Comic Shop Talk, where we're going to talk about all the behind scenes of a comic shop and if, how to open your own comic shop and all the different platforms you can use, all your different ways of buying and selling. So we had two episodes recently, uh, part one and part two about TCG Player and that platform. And we're going into another platform now. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, Hip Comics. Uh, seems to be picking up some speed there. We did, we were fairly early on with Hip Comic, and then uh, we had some issues with their link to, used to be able to just put the stuff on eBay and it would link directly to Hip Comic. The link broke, it caused us some pain uh, through eBay because we had, when a comic got hot, it sold out on Hip. And then when the eBay sale came in, we didn't know we didn't have any left. Then we had to cancel it. When you have to cancel a certain amount, eBay then strikes you, and then you get a higher, having to pay a higher percentage. Uh, recently, we were at, in your upcoming video, you'll see we were at uh, Big Apple Con, uh, Comic Con, and we sat and spoke with uh, the company, Hip Comic, and uh, we decided to go ahead and try them out again. Uh, the, one of the biggest parts of it is that they have a comic uh, scanner of sorts. You know, we talked about at the TCG player that uh, for cards, they have a, a scanner you can just scan the cards in. Uh, it allows you to get a lot of stuff up uh, in a very short amount of time. HIP has done the same thing for comics. Uh, as long as you have a camera, and of course we're using the camera that was provided to us by TCG. We're gonna go, in a few minutes, we're gonna go through um, how that works, putting it up, and uh, then what happens to it after it gets put up. And all the, as you're putting it up, all the different things. And then we'll also show when a book doesn't come up through the scanner, how to enter a book. So when a comic doesn't scan in, if it doesn't come up in their database, you can enter it manually, and we're gonna go through that and show you how that gets in there. And then we'll talk a little bit about um, how many people are coming to the site, what their sales look like, uh, what our sales have looked like since we restarted with them. And uh, you know, here when you come here, all scars, bruises, and all uh, gleaming shiny teeth too of uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly, you know? So we're gonna talk about that and uh, it takes a little time, so we're gonna go onto the computer now and show you how that works. All right, so here's Hip Comic, their main website. When you go there, uh, you can look at uh, what the weekly no reserve auction is. You can look at uh, recently viewed, where they're, gonna, they're highlighting uh, books that are getting a lot of uh, eyes on it, so it's something you might be interested in. Then they have, um, Infinity Comics has an auction ending daily. They're got like a premium on the front page. Uh, then it has this week's tops auctions, Thursday premium auction. They recommend you books. Uh, then you come down, uh, they have some uh, videos about uh, listing your comics, uh, how to win a number one CGC signature series. Uh, on some of their giveaways, and then how to work the, uh, their collection and how, how to work the, the camera from your phone. Some popular auctions, featured listings, um, and then by being, a, the more you sell, the better chance you have to be in the featured listings. You know, you know, that, you know how that works. Also, if they want you to come on board, they might give you a, like, hey, for a week, we'll put you on the featured listings, something I mean, I've had talks with them when they were trying to get us to come back on board. Um, I've had some talks with them and we haven't worked anything out yet. Uh, again, this is not sponsored. I don't take sponsors currently, uh, but we haven't worked anything out yet, but I hope to get some featured thing. They also, I might do a dollar auction. You guys know I do a lot of dollar bin books, uh, which are actually three to five dollar books. So having a dollar, dollar auction might work for me through this uh, through this platform. So 
we might try that out in the near future. And of course, I'll tell you all about it. But so now we wanna get into really how, how do we get our books up on this site? So there's a sell button up here at the top. You just click the sell button and it takes you to this page. And sell your item and it says photos. You click on the camera and it brings up my camera over here to uh, my left, your right, and all we do is grab a comic book. Now, I have to, to get it to be, I have to capture it sideways to get it to be um, the right way. And then I wanna take it over there to that edge. All right. So I'm trying to be a little bit too perfect right now, but Really, when I was putting the books up, I was just slapping them up there. So it's Hawkeye number one, I take the picture. Then you click uh, this check mark, green check mark, and then it brings it over here and it starts to search for the book. You can see under category where it's gray here and boom, it comes up. Hawkeye number one, direct edge, uh, edition 1983. Uh, it tells you the category, it's a Bronze Age book. Uh, then it gives you the item specifics. Um, it's an ungraded book, so I don't put the grade on. Uh, there's no certification. It's not signed. I can add a description. So in the description, I would suggest um, putting in first appearances, putting in any pertinent information, origin, death of, all that type of stuff. Um, I'm trying to load up as many books as possible and without the manpower, to do it efficiently, um, I just leave it blank. I don't have any description for it. I kind of figure that if somebody's somebody's not looking for a certain, they don't. If they're looking for a certain first appearance, they'll know what book it's in and they'll search that book. But it is good to have that kind of information uh, on there. It's just more professional. Now, hip value guide. So they've been collecting sales data. And if they have any sales data on this book, it'll actually come up and tell you what the cost uh, is on, on that. Here is pricing. So it, it always starts out as auction. So you click on it to edit it. I like doing fixed price. Um, I'm gonna do this Hawkeye one for $4 because it's not minty mint. It has some um, yellowing on the, on the cover, on that white cover. So I'm gonna do it for $4. Uh, I allow offers. If people are buying multiple books, I'll definitely take an offer for uh, books if you're buying multiples. And then shipping. So I do, I got, I've moved to calculated. I, I can't do flat anymore. The cost of first class has moved up so much. And it is so different from, if I, if I send something here in New York and I, I send my comics out as 15 ounces, just under a pound, uh, in a Gemini uh, and, a, and an envelope over it. So it's not over a pound, it's just right at, and um, I don't think I've sent one for less than 560. So if you do a $5, you're losing $60 every time. If it has to go to California, the last one I sent out, 790 for a 15 ounce uh, comic to California and I'm losing $2 uh, a comic, or almost $3 a comic when you just have a flat rate of $5. Plus all the packing material, you know, the Geminis are, are not cheap, they're about 83 cents a piece. So I run it as calculated. I also run the Americas as calculated because the United States is only the uh, lower 48. Hawaii and Alaska don't count and neither do Puerto Rico, uh, American Virgin Islands, Samoa, even though they're considered America, it doesn't ship like that. So down here, it gives you weight and dimension. Excuse me. Down here, it gives you weight and dimension, uh, dimensions and there's five, uh, 15 ounces. I do a length of 14, a width of 10, and that's kind of a, a, a roundup. It might be 16 by 12, but as long as you're within the size, it doesn't it doesn't cost any more to ship. So down here under preferences, you have quantity, how you want your money, 
the location of where I'm sending it from and if I return, uh, if I accept returns. And I do. Um, it's a pain, but most of your competition is accepting returns. Um, so, and you don't want people to be unsatisfied. And so, I mean, so I would let them keep the book. At a $4 book, if, I've, if they've paid for shipping to them and they're, they're not happy with it, um, and I don't feel they're scamming me, I would just let them keep the book because I would have to pay the 560 or more to ship it back for a $4 book. It's, it, it's just not worth it. So you just click list the item and it's ready to go for the next book. Now we're gonna do some rapid fire so that you can see how quickly that these can go up. All right, so I have this Future State Gotham. Click the, get it centered. Click the picture, click the, pop that. Now I have four copies of this. So it locates it. It didn't add the information that this is the other side of the connecting. Uh, it's a connecting variant. So I'm just gonna add that. And spell it correctly. <laughs> um, specifics come up, description. Now this actually has, see it has a hip value guide. Uh, these books are near mint, so they're, they're 8.5 to 9.8. I'm gonna hit that. Thing that that's gonna do, it's gonna put in a grade. It's also gonna add the $5 to the fixed price. The shipping has stayed from the last one, so it, it holds the shipping, which is really nice. And then I just go down to preferences, and I change the quantity to four. Now everything's there, and I list the item. And now four books are up. So we're gonna throw up another Future State book. I get it centered. I have been much better at this. I'm, it's throwing me off because the, the thing I have it on top of is crooked. <laughs> it's just throwing me off. This I'm doing right at my cash register section. So like it's much better to have something away from, uh, you know, your cash register, have another computer, have an actual area where you can do this and it'll actually even go even faster. Now, so I was gonna hold this to be a little bit later on show you how to do this, but this book didn't actually come up when I searched it, they weren't able to find it. So this is Future State Superman World, War, World of War number one. So I gotta type all that in and I'm actually gonna This is the variant. Cover. All right. The category is easy to edit. <clears throat> so it's a comic book and then it'll come up. This is a modern age book. So you just pop that in and it automatically puts it in. Series name, we're just gonna grab this, copy and paste. Issue number is one. Just make those few changes quickly. Publisher is easy, just put in DC. You see how it shows all the different publishers and you're able to find it pretty easily. Main character, put a couple of letters in and it comes right to it. Genre, superhero. I mean, not that you need all this stuff in there. It doesn't have a grade. It's not signed. Um, the, of course, the hip value won't come up because it couldn't find the book. Fixed price. Now, this was originally a $9 book. That's what I'm going to put it up for. Just going to put it in for cover price. The only other, the other issue I have is it's nice that it holds all of my shipping information as I'm working. But when I go down to preferences, you got to double check this because this will get you screwed up. The quantity still has the other quantity from the last book I put up. 
So that doesn't return to one. It, it stays at the last quantity you put in there. I happen to have two issues, so I just subtract two, and then boom, I hit the list your item. Now, sometimes this one actually the listing created, so it was, um, it worked really well. Hey there, Tales from the Flipside family. I know it's a weird spot to, to cut the video, but try to keep it to 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, so we're gonna break this up, come back next week, see the rest. Uh, you, you'll want to come back next week and watch for the end. Uh, there's some really good insight to this system and the TCG player system and how we're going to try to use it. Come on back. <laughs>